bringing you another tutorial. Sorry, I haven't done one for a while. Uh, I've been kind of working on a lot of things. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do uh, an audio manipulation, uh, muffle. <laughs> Sorry if I sound stuffy, my allergies are coming back. So, Sorry. Um, so, I have the clip that was used in the beginning. Just something I threw together in After Effects. Oh, and by the way, all my edits I'm going to be doing are going to be done in After Effects. I'm also going to be doing After Effects tutorials uh, pretty soon. I hope um, editing contest coming soon, all that kind of stuff. So just read my last video, it's an update video. So anyway, let's get started. I guess I'll uh, show you this real quick. Alright, so pretty cool. Um, this effect is super easy. It's probably going to be a pretty quick tutorial. So, first, let's find where we want to do a muffle. So, this is where the beat hits, I guess. Alright, so somewhere right here, there's a little bass hit. I'm going to add a marker right there. Just press M on your keyboard, as in monkey, and that will add a marker. Uh, then we want to find where we want it to stop, so we're going to do that next. Let's play from here. There's another hit right here. So I'll add another marker. And this is where our effect is basically going to take place is in between these two markers right here. So to add the effect, I'm going to cut this clip out. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard as in snake, and also S on the other marker. And that will create the actual uh, cut. So this is where our effect is going to be right here. So to actually add the effect is super easy. We're just going to click on this button here, the Event FX, and you're going to get all these options. Uh, the only one I've really used is Audio, or sorry, Amplitude Modulation. So we're just going to OK that, and it's going to bring up this menu. Now. This is something you can sort of mess around with, I guess. Uh, the basic audio muffle is going to be wet out. You want to bring that all the way up. Keep the amplitude the same because that's going to be how loud that part of it actually is. And then we're going to blend graph edges, low pass, and tempo sync. And that's really the basic setup here. You can mess with the low pass or the hertz or whatever. Uh, to make it lower or more clear, but we'll listen to this for now. So that sounds really cool. It's got a nice little muffle there. Um, in the edit, I also muffled some gunshots, so I'll edit those for you too. Uh, oh, whoops. Don't want you guys to see what I'm working on, so I had to exit out of my desktop. Uh, let's see, I don't think I actually have a Python sound, so. Oh, shoot. Whoops. Where am I? I don't even know where I am. Am I in the right place? Oh, yeah. Alright, that'll do. So I'm gonna drop a magnum shot in there. And that's fine where he shoots. Probably somewhere around right here, I don't know. Line up the gunshot. Waves right there. That sounds like poop. So we're gonna add the same effect as we did before to the gunshot. Now let's see what that sounds like. Sounds really cool. Another thing we can do though is to make it sound like it's kinda longer, I guess. If we go to properties and make this normalize make it elastic. That's how you say it in French. 
and we select lock to stretch, what we can do is we can actually pan this out. If we press control, you'll get these little wavy lines right there. And you just drag this out, I don't know, a little bit. It'll sound pretty cool. We're gonna fade this out though so it sounds smoother. Whoops. If you don't know how to fade out, you just go to the top corner and you're gonna get this little bump thing. And just drag that over and that's gonna bring the opacity of the sound down. So let's see what that sounds like. Sounds pretty nice. It sounds a little loud though, so we want to match up our audio levels. Just bring it down a little bit. Still a little loud. Bring it down a little bit more. Alright, so that's a pretty nice effect right there. I'm gonna bring in the hertz a little bit. I think I think it's up. That makes it different. That makes it more clear. We're gonna put it down. You don't want to put it all the way down. Because that'll make it really silent. That sounds nice. So, I mean, that's that's really it, guys. It's a pretty simple effect. Uh, something you can really mess around with. Um, I really just made this tutorial because I had a lot of people ask me about it for some reason. Uh, and it, it, it's super easy, um, and I really needed to upload a tutorial. Uh, most of my stuff now is going to be, I'm still going to do Sony Vegas, but uh, it's a little, I don't want to say simple for me, but I need uh, just something with better quality rendering and more room. So I'm going to be using After Effects from now on, but I'm not going to you know, just leave you guys hanging. I, I'm still going to do some Sony Vegas tutorials for sure. I'm going to do After Effects tutorials too, short films, um, little IRL edits and things like that, but you know, expect a lot of film stuff from me because I'm finally starting to you know, meet people and meet actors and uh, get a lot of nice equipment to film with, so look forward to some of that stuff. Uh, more Sony Vegas tutorials coming soon, I'm still going to be posting editing contests and things like that for you guys, so uh, spread the word. Uh, just. I'm here to help the community as much as I can, so I try to get back as much as I can to you guys. Uh, add me on Skype if you have any questions. Uh, aside from that, you know, leave a like if you uh, did like this video. If not, uh, well, you're not, you're not very nice. But anyway, leave a comment. Thanks, guys. Bye.